Okay, so we have our out of bounds image of the St. John's Bridge. And what we're going to do, we're going to make a few changes to it, make it look just a little better. As you can see, the background is checkerboard, so it is transparent. And we're going to change that. We'll give um, a new look to our frame, and then we'll give a shadow here on the uh, onto our new background. So the first thing we're going to do is let's go ahead and give ourselves a new background, and I'm going to create a a new layer. That's this one that was on it. So I'll create a new layer. And I'm going to call it background. Okay. And what I'll do is I'm going to the rectangle tool. I'm going to make a rectangle as big as the image itself. And there's my frame, by the way. I'll just move my background up. Okay, that's all we see. Now it's green because this color happened to be green when we brought it up here. And what I'm going to do with that, for some reason that made a vector mask. I'm going to get rid of that vector mask. Just have the, just have the shape. And before we can do anything to it, though, we're going to have to rasterize it and turn it into a pixelated image. So let's click rasterize after I right click and click rasterize. Okay. Then I'll choose a dark green and I have keep this one white. And I'll go to my gradient tool and you know maybe go to angle. We'll go the other way. We could go straight. Try something like this and we'll see what it looks like. And my background is always on top here. I'm going to move my layers. I'm going to pull it down to the bottom to see what that looks like. And if I still do the same thing, I can change it, reverse it. Now here, it's going to come up to here, and there we go. Just like that. So we've added a little gradient. Now what I'm going to do over here uh, to the bridge that comes out, I'm going to give it a shadow. So first thing I'm going to do is make a layer. I'm going to call it shadow. What I need to do, <coughs> I need to basically take this bridge, make a copy of it, and then put a shadow kind of underneath it. Um, so let's go ahead. I'm going to use a lasso tool, but a magnetic one. And I'm just going to start at the top here and pull this down a ways into the bridge take it to here it's a bad job on that, that's okay all the way to the other end going until complete the circle I guess and click, there we go now I got my marching ants around it oops, I need to be on the bridge. So I got my marching rats, ants around the bridge. What I'm going to do is make a copy of this. So I'm going to go control C. And I just made a copy of what was on there. And I'll go now to my shadow and I'm going to make a copy of that by clicking control V. And if I did it correctly I should be able to pull out. There we go. And I'll move the shadow up a little bit so Okay, so there it is. Now what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to basically bring it over here and make a shadow of it. Okay, now if you remember we need to make this black first, so I'm going to go image, adjustment, hue, or control U, and I'll take the lightness, there we go, and then we'll give it a blur. So filter, blur, Gaussian, and this pops up, seven is fine, you can, too much, yeah, so we're in there, click OK, so now we're looking at that, the next thing I'll do is I'll take the opacity down, there we go, and then finally, we have to kind of stretch this out a little bit. So I'm going to go image, sorry, edit, 
transform, <coughs> excuse me, and distort. There we go, just make it a little longer. Something like that. And just hit enter. Okay. If I distort it, it might want to bring my color up a little bit. There we go. And put my shadow under the bridge now. Just like that. When I do that, I realize I didn't do a very good job on this. Not coming through, did I? And so it goes. Okay. There we go. Next thing we do, I'm going to go to the frame layer. Yeah. And I'm going to give that an effect down at the bottom of the layers. Add a layer style. And hmm, maybe just a drop shadow. When I do that, my style comes up, and we still get a drop shadow right here. So if I unclick it, click it, there we go. That looks okay. And then finally, I'll add some text to it. Let's see here. That's hidden behind this. Move this down. Text. Let's see. It's not very pretty. Let's see what else can I do. There. Here we go. Even make it a little bigger with a little edit transform scale like that. Might even give this an effect as well. Give that a drop shadow. Yeah, a drop shadow as well. Of course, my shadows go in separate from that one. Eh. And there we go.